Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. Today we've got a, we're gonna have a scattered video, lots of different things because there's lots of different things going on. So um, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do some transfers of some of the seedlings from one container to the other. And you can see what happens. She's just moving really fast. But um, what you can tell us, see, is that most of them, most of these seedlings come out in just a mass. And that whole mass is then transferred from the plate to this flask. So this is just really, it's, it's what I call a mass transfer. And it's really quick. Um, it's, it's a lot of effort to generate these dishes, what that came out of and what's over there. Um, but after you make those dishes, it's relatively easy to, um, to transfer the contents of those dishes to a new flask. So what, all right, so she's already on to the next plate so um, she's going to transfer the contents of this plate that's pretty full this I should say is a new hybrid it's been in there probably let's see probably for around four or five months so it's this has been in there for a while and they're pretty big the roots are mostly intertwined but not completely and then she's just going to reach in there and try her best to pull out this mass as much of a mass as she can get of the seedlings and then transfer these as good as she can into the next container, the next flask. Um, sometimes you get all of them out, sometimes you don't quite get all of them out. There's, they tend to stick to the, as the roots grow out, they tend to stick to the bottom of the petri dish. So you have to go in there and grab the last few and sometimes there's media that's still attached to it, but it doesn't matter. Um, but you can see what happens, what you can happen is that you generate, it's really easy to transfer just a lot of the tissue quickly to the flask. And you can go through this and, and just, again, work fast. The idea then is that these are gonna stay in this container for probably another three months. And at that point, they should get to the top of the container. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you here. Um, and then I'm just gonna show you kind of a smattering of other things that are ongoing in the lab. So let's move on. All right, and we are back. So this just kind of gives you an idea, and I'm sorry about the cut up video for today, but it gives you an idea of uh, the grid that is being built. So the initial mother flask is right there, mother plate is right there. And what's going on is these individual seedlings are being picked and then placed into these replate media that's located here. So I'm going to kind of get into it kind of close. So you can get an idea of what the seedlings look like here. And this is a fresh plate uh, that was, I got to look at the date on this. And this is about um, two and a half months after the initial flasking of the seeds that are there. So she's going through there with a really nice, fine forcep, and this is an effort. She goes through and then she'll make um, a grid shown here. So she'll make, and there's, there's five across, and then she'll make another five across. So it's a five by five grid that's being made here. And what that does is that gives, I'm sorry, we're losing focus here. What that does is it gives, it puts about, it's about five by five. So that puts about 25 of these really small seedlings in each one of these replate media dishes. And she's moving a lot faster than I can move, but that's what, that's what happens. Um, anyway, so, this, these then get plated in this grid and they'll sit in 
that second replate flask and there's a different media so the seed germination medium is there and the replate medium is right there both are black because they contain charcoal there's a number of similar components but the uh, essentially the seed germination medium is a lot lower salt strength than the uh, the replate medium but there's other um, there's other components in the replate medium that are not in the seed germination medium and this is a uh, this is a cattleya uh, cross right here, and this one probably will be named uh, as soon as the plants are um, are a bit bigger. Uh, but actually, the handler on this, uh, she made the cross, so um, pretty excited about about that. And so this this cross is uh, getting getting larger. And these are pretty vigorous plants right now. And like I said, they'll be in the second flask. Uh, the second petri dish, they'll stay in there for probably in, um, two or three months and then they'll get placed in these larger flasks uh, that are right here. So I just finished pouring those plate, those flasks right there and what will happen, I gotta, I gotta come out, so I'm planning on putting these, well either she or me will put these into those flasks uh, a little bit later on. And taking a look at the, uh, the flask that these came from, these are, looks like they're three months. They've been, these plants, these seedlings have been in here for three months and they're about ready. But this gives you an idea, I've got the stack of, uh, how many is that, eight, seven or eight plates on the right, stack of five on the left. Those will all go uh, into those large flasks right there and they'll hit the hook the top of the flask after just a few months it takes a while but that's just how things that's just how things go uh, been a, been a busy day in the laboratory that is fresh seed germination medium that's not wrapped there that is replate medium in those uh, and that sleeve of petri dishes right there so we've got a full hood lots of things going on i'm not sure if we're gonna get to deflasking any orchids today. It's on the list, but there's a lot going on today. Oh, and that's a new, look at that, new plate. Look how nice that plate is. I gotta, we'll take a look. Look how nice that is. Anyway, she's starting into that. Gonna grab a few more. And uh, new plate there, and they're going, ah, as they're getting out. They're, uh, they, they like being transferred. There'll be a flush of growth. So, okay, anyway, um, we'll, we'll try to finish up in a little bit. Like I said, I'm not sure whether we'll get to any deflasking today, but uh, just giving you a cut-up version of things going on in the lab. Okay, and we're back. So we're finishing up a little bit in the culture room. Now, these are not freshly transferred these have been in here probably for uh, for a couple of months I these are these are where where's that okay so right here these are some phalaenopsis seed uh, seedlings that I just re plated or transferred to fresh flasks today some of the small ones and then as we move down there are just some more these again these are these are some old flasks that I've had for from some of the hybrids it's interesting most of these right here are the same same hybrid. I really got a lot of seedlings uh, from that, and uh, really high high vigor, high growth. And so we'll see what happens with that new hybrid from a colleague right there. These are on the bottom shelf here. These are some ones that were just transferred today. So if you kind of look at them up close, you can see that they were just put in there. They're pretty small. Uh, there's not much going on, but these were just put in there today, and then eventually, and, and there's a lot of, um, for some reason with this cross, there's a lot of root growth that you see, and the uh, the leaves aren't really as, as nice as you'd like to see, but then what's going to happen over time is they'll end up growing the, uh, in these larger flasks, you don't get as much, you get, still get nice root growth, but the uh, the shoots tend to outgrow the roots. So these are all new flasks and there's they're they're how many deep? We're four deep. So these are all new flasks that were just made uh, today. So we look through all of these going through probably 
I guess right, just not that right there. Um, that one was, this group was transferred last week. So that flask was um, last week, and then this one uh, next to it, and the one next to it, of course, are has transferred quite a while ago. So again, some new hybrids uh, there, and then and, and there. well, they're all they're all new hybrids, but they were transferred in there a lot a little a little while ago. I also have them I'm excited. I have some sort of podiums that I'm be transferring into larger. Uh, the larger flasks like that, and I'm excited because I have some. My, I'm getting, I'm getting low on certipodiums in flasks uh, in the laboratory, and these are the Florida natives that I have. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I've got a few more plants that I've got to do. So um, things are starting to get kind of full. I've got just to take a look at some of the other things uh, in the laboratory. These are some of the uh, the seedling, uh, the mother flasks here, and as you go down. And look at there's there's one I got to point out a few of them to you. These are these are just loaded. These two and these this is a relatively new uh, flasking of these. And all of these so there's those are five deep, and each one of those um, represents a uh, an individual seed from an individual capsule. Some of them don't um, you know there isn't as much going on there, uh, but some of them are some of them are loaded. And again, you can't see because of the cloudiness and the glare. Uh, but I'm excited about, well, you can't tell. I'm excited about this one right here. There's a lot. You can't really see what's going on. But there's a lot of seeds that are growing in that. And then right there, these are, again, I'm sorry, you can't see anything. Those three plates are Wu Lang self, and they're just loaded. Uh, and they're very vigorous plants as well. And then on the bottom, I'm not going to show, but I, those are some flasks that I recently deflasked uh, seedlings, and I looked at those today, and those are doing well, uh, too. Anyway, that's all I have today. I just wanted to give you an update of general things that are going on in the lab. I think maybe next time we'll, we'll do a deflasking so you can see uh, what I'm doing with my um, deflasking efforts, and we'll go from there. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out. If you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right. Again, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and happy propagating.